Hello. So let's talk about all the books that I picked up in the month of January. So I've really been considering doing like quarterly book hauls. I know a lot of people don't really care for book hauls. Book hauls are some of my favorite videos to watch. I don't know why. Sometimes for me, they feel a bit redundant because I'm always buying books I've already read. So I'm not showing you guys new books that I haven't already talked about, but for keeping track of things and for my peace of mind, I need to do one every single month because then I can shelve the books and put them away. Otherwise it's too confusing for me to shell them, try to rip, make a list and get them off the shelves. You get the idea. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. If you're watching this video, I would assume it means you like book hauls. So do you like seeing one every month? Because I like to be organized and I like to say like, okay, this is everything I got for 12 months out of the year rather than just a bunch of books at random times to each their own. Let me know what you guys think. So in the month of January, I picked up six novels and three graphic novels. One of the books was sent to me and the rest I purchased either with my own money or with Amazon points that I had accumulated, which is not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that number. And I have read all but one of these books and one of these books I will be reading in February. It's on my February TBR and it's part of a series I've been reading. So let's talk about the graphic novels first because I love graphic novels. First, I picked up Avatar The Last Airbender, The Search, which is the second bind up of graphic novels. <laughs> and I still have to read The Promise and purchase that because I don't own that either, but I did already read this. I gave it five stars. We're continuing on with the gang here. After the finale and conclusion of the TV show, so I absolutely love seeing what our characters are up to, and they're off to find Zuko's mother within this installment. So if you are a fan of the show, I can't recommend this enough to you. I don't imagine anybody who loves the show will pick this up and not enjoy it. Just the chances are you're really gonna enjoy your time, and the art is beautiful. It just feels like you are spending more time in that world, which is everything I loved. Next, I picked up a graphic novel I read quite some time ago when I lived at my old house still, and that is Star Wars Darth Vader, the Vader comics, and this is the bind up of the first four. Ooh, and that leads me to, Nick, this is the one you're talking about. I really wanna read that Princess Leia one. I love Darth Vader so much that I'm just trash for more material involving him. Not that this is a wrap up, but the events that are taking place in this, I just, I felt a little let down by these first four comics. I'm going to continue on with it definitely in hopes of enjoying the rest more, but I wish more would have happened throughout this, but I just like more time with Vader on the page. So I picked this up to add to my collection and it came bent in the mail. Don't we love that? And the last graphic novel I picked up is the bind up of the first four comics for The Rise of Kylo Ren. And he's another favorite of mine. And this I enjoyed so much more. So this gives us a little bit more insight into Kylo Ren's backstory as Ben Solo and how he kind of made the decisions to get him to where he is now. And I really enjoyed this. I loved the art. I thought it was very enjoyable and action packed and informative. So I loved everything about this. I gave this five stars as well. I highly recommend this if you like Kylo Ren. I'll first talk about the book that was sent to me by a dear subscriber and that is Larry. And thank you so, so very much. That was so kind of you to send me this because you knew I needed it for my collection. Bless your soul. This is the hard cover full edition of Dead House Gates and if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time you'll know I have about 10 copies of the book club size of Dead House Gates and I cannot just I cannot even describe to you how much joy I'm filled with to put this on my shelf in midst in the middle of the other hardcovers of the series that I own this book is worth a ton of money so that was so kind and generous of you to send it to me and thank you so much again your guys kindness just blows me away all the time and I'm so thankful for all of you but it's such a it's such a nice copy it is a library edition but still the cover is in like perfect condition and I'm so glad to own this now because I really enjoy this series I love this book within the series so much and I just couldn't afford to buy a $300 book to be honest and these go from like 300 to 350 dollars on ebay so thank you so much let's just do this together hold on can you see this far over i'm not sure you can so satisfying i have to get the sticker off still 
The only book on this list that I have not read yet is The Path of Daggers by Robert Jordan, the eighth book in the Wheel of Time series, which I will be reading this month. It's very short compared to the others, like 500 pages. It feels so strange to hold a Wheel of Time book in my hands that is this small, but I can't say I'm sad because, you know, this is where people say this log starts. This log has already started in my opinion, so... I'm not sad that it's shorter. I'm very optimistic because a lot of you guys have told me that I might enjoy this more than book seven. So here's to hoping. And yeah, this is the only book out of the ones that I got this month that I have yet to read. The rest of these I feel like I've talked at length about, so I'm not gonna go into detail. I will link all of my reviews. The first one being Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Dechenko, which I messed up in my wrap up. It said Ukrainian, but someone informed me it's translated from Russian. So I will link my spoiler-free review for this magical realism adult fantasy novel that is a very atmospheric read. I highly recommend it for a very unique experience. I really recommend the audiobook as well and now I'm excited to own a copy for my shelves and I really want to continue reading more from these authors and more of their translated works so I'm very excited to hopefully keep collecting them. Another book that I've done a full spoiler free review for is The Binding by Bridget Collins and I really enjoyed this book. I'm honestly not wowed by this cover. I don't know why I feel like I thought it was going to be prettier in person but this is an adult fantasy novel that's set in an alternate 19th century England dealing with people who are called binders who extract memories from people and bind them into books to take away those painful memories. This book really focuses on exploring the relationship between two boys in this world and I would say go into it knowing it's more about that relationship than discussing removing memories from people. It's a very dark melancholy book and definitely doesn't leave you feeling like happy, but I really did enjoy the romance in it. So I am glad to own this and I want to check out her other books still. So hopefully I can shelve them together. The only thing I will say about this is that is a stunning spine. So putting this on my shelf with a spine, like I want all of my book spines to look like that. I love your classic older, that looks like classic literature. Then I picked up this beauty and that is Lightbringer by Claire Legrand. I'm so excited to own the third book in this trilogy, see them all on the shelf together. It'll be so satisfying. I love this young adult series. I just talked about it in my wrap up, which I will link for you guys. We're following two queens a thousand years apart, the Sun Queen and the Blood Queen, and how things are tied together. We're following an, a war that was started in the older timeline between saints and angels, basically between humans and angels. And this world gets very big and expansive. And I did enjoy the romance in this as well. So if you need a new young adult fantasy series to pick up, I highly recommend this series. I love it. And the final book that I hauled in the month of January is The House in the Cerulean Sea. I had to wait so long to find the hardcover copy of this, but I despise when publishers decide to make a paperback and it's gonna have the short cover that you flip Oh my God, I almost, I don't even want to own those books. So I had to wait for the hardcover to come back in stock for a long time. And also when his new book comes out this year, I really want to own both of them in hardcover. So I'm so glad I was able to pick this up, but you guys probably have already heard me raving about this in my wrap up from January where we're following Linus. He's a caseworker for the department in charge of magical youth. He's living a very quiet life and he gets sent to oversee this orphanage to make sure that the children are being cared for properly and everyone is safe from the children and the children are safe there. It upsets his routine and he really likes his routine. He likes being alone, but he's uncovering some secrets while he's there and it's teaching him how to live and be happy and accept people into his life. And the children are just lovely. And this is just one of the most precious books I've ever read in my life. And I can't wait to reread it. So I'm very excited to own it. I really want to annotate this edition because of how much I love it. Um, it's definitely like seriously up there with the Starless Sea for how much I love it. So I will be rereading this this year and annotating it, that's for sure. So these are the nine things that I picked up in the month of January. I feel like this is really reasonable overall, only six books, only one left to read and I'm pretty happy with this. Have you guys read any of these books? Please tell me what was your favorite book that you picked up in the month of January. I would love to hear and chat about it with you guys. And also let me know what you would like to see with my book hauls because I really enjoy doing one per month, but if it's like too much and 
redundant. I don't want to give you guys content that you don't like to see, but for my organized little heart, I like to do it. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.